a medical video lecture microbiology and today's topic of discussion is intracellular killing of a microorganisms that is phagocytosis killing of intracellular organisms so this is a really very important topic for USMLE and for medical students also so let's start a discussion on this here we're going to discuss about how the cell the phagocyte kills the intracellular organism you know very well the cell if this is a cell and the cell is infected with the organism like a bacteria okay and the cell tries its level best to kill the organism okay so to prevent the infection that is what the normal body does right so let's talk about the two important topics remember if this is a cell okay is infected with a organism microorganism bacteria if two things are attached on it two things are attached on it then the phagocyte comes very fast and kills this what you call uh, organism soon right so what's that the two important opsonins we call it as they are IgG and complement fact C3B okay remember when these two things these are called as opsonins if they are attached to a cell then the macrophages comes four thousand times faster and acts on this cell right got it so these are the opsonins so in US assembly they can ask you which are the opsonins so remember they are c3b there's a complement and the antibody that is igg okay guys so let's talk about how the phagocyte executes its plan that is a killing of organism so we have a two important things remember in the during the phagocytosis what is the phagocytosis phagocytosis is nothing but eating of the cell right so let's talk about this we have a two mic uh, sorry what do you call uh, methods one is through oxygen dependent killing means they require oxygen to kill the organism intracellular organism and we have other that is known as oxygen independent O2 independent okay guys so two types of killing so first we're going to talk about the oxygen dependent killing first let me tell you why we should know steps in killing the body organism because if there's any defect in the following steps of killing intracellular organism then it leads to number of diseases and these diseases are really very important and how do you distinguish and that's also a very important topic for USML step on examination guys so let's start oxygen dependent killing so we have a, remember to kill a intracellular organism okay intracellular organisms we need we need three things or you can call it as a two things or a three things remember one either you have hydroxyl radical okay sorry this one let me okay or you have hydrogen peroxide H2O2 H2O2 or you have hypochlorite hypochlorite right the three things can kill the orga intracellular organisms through oxygen dependent mechanism right this is really very important guys concentrate on this okay good now let's see the two enzymes we're going to talk about over here is one is NADPH oxidase enzyme and the other one is malo peroxidase enzyme right so we have two enzymes so these two enzymes produce ultimately the three things either of the three right 
So the NADPH oxidase. Let's let me move on to this. Okay, let me draw over here. Okay. The if this is a phygosome phygosome membrane. Let me draw over here, okay. And this is oxygen. So NADPH oxidase reduces oxygen to superoxide ion and ion which generates hydroxyl radical OH and H2O2 H2O2 that is a hydrogen peroxide and these two we know very well that they are microbicidal, microbicidal right they kill the intracellular organisms the organism is killed so who will do this this conversion is by NADPH oxidase right got it so if there is a deficiency of this then the oxygen radical is not converted and ultimately it's led to infection right good now we have the another one that is a meloperoxidase the meloperoxidase present in the lysosome acts on a hydrogen peroxide over here okay meloperoxidase i will write as a mp meloperoxidase okay um along with the chloride chloride Cl to form a what you call as a hypochlorite hypochlorite okay hypochlorite let's see I have write as a hypochlorite okay this is a really a microcidal right microbicidal so they're gonna kill the organisms we know to kill an intracellular organism we need either superoxide what is called hydroxyl radical or hydrogen peroxide or hypochlorite right so we got all three things right excellent so this is how the killing takes place through oxygen dependent organisms now let me brief you with an example there is a chronic granulomatous disease c chronic granulomatous disease cgd right so in this disease there there is a deficiency of enzyme nadph okay so because of this they will have the infection right so you know very well now let's talk about the two important topics two important types of bacteria over here one is the catalyst positive this is really very important for you assembly catalyst positive and we have a catalyst negative catalyst positive you know very well like a staph family like staphylococcus aureus staphylococcus saprophyticus epidermidis right then we have klebsiella then we have Ceratia, then we have Aspergillus fungi, Candida, okay? So these are really very important. In next video, I'm going to talk about CGDs, chronic granulomatous disease, okay? And the catalyst negative, we have a strept, right? All strept, most of the strept are catalyst negative. So what does the catalyst negative organism do? This is really very important I'm talking over here, okay? Remember, if the patient is infected with the step like catalyst negative organism the h2o2 over here you can see over here the h2o2 right the h2o2 waste product produced by the catalyst negative organism can be used as a substrate for meloperoxidase right this can be used because what the catalyst negative do they produce this h2o2 and this h2o2 along with what you call uh, uh, yeah, meloperoxidase combines with the chloride to form a hypochlorite and kills the organism right got it who in a catalyst negative organism in a CGD patient where there is a deficiency of NADPH means there is a no synthesis of OH and H2O2 so who is synthesizing the H2O2 in the cell is because of the catalyst negative organism right so the catalyst organism, negative organism, they produce the H2O2 and they, that reacts with the meloperoxidase form, and along with the chloride to form a hypochlorite which is a microcidal and ultimately what happens? The organism or the bacteria is killed. Now the interesting thing comes over here. If the patient is infected with the catalyst positive, they won't produce the H2O2. They won't produce the H2O2. So there is no combination. The meloperoxidase doesn't act at all. Because it needs H2O2 to kill the anorganisms, right? So the no H2O2, no hypochlorite is synthesized. The, and ultimately what happens, the oxygen independent mechanisms should act and kill the organism. 
we have to as we said this is oxygen dependent what we are talking over here is oxygen dependent we need oxygen independent mechanism to kill the organism catalyst positive organism in chronic granulomatous disease so but remember the the oxygen independent mechanism intracellular killing mechanism oxygen independent is really very weak that's why they get the infection very fast with what you call catalyst positive organism cat positive organism got it guys it's clear excellent let's move on to the oxygen independent it's not so much important just remember oxygen independent so they are degraded to materials okay the present they are lysozyme lysozyme we have defensins okay defensins then we have lactoferrins lactoferrins okay what's a lysozyme they digest what you call you know the peptidoglycans okay they kill the cell wall by cleaving what you call peptidoglycans and hence kills what you call kills the organism defensins circular peptides that form a channel in the bacterial cell membrane okay lactoferrins actually it's iron iron okay so we have other hydrolytic enzymes also so remember this is the how um intracellular killing takes place in the phagocytosis okay guys i hope this is really very clear and i'm sure you're gonna subscribe to this channel and i'm sure this you're gonna share this video to your friends thank you so much for watching this video take care